So what's your next big move? Can't answer that question? Well then make sure that you stay tuned for some very, very important information to help you figure it out. Coming up next. Hey, it's Aisha Cogborn from CoachAisha.com and I just came back from Houston where I had a chance to celebrate with one of my private coaching clients as she hosted her very first event. It was a two-day leadership conference for girls at Lakewood Church. I tell you, I love my private coaching clients so much. They are just amazing. They have such big visions and callings and they're committed to making them happen so much so that they've sought out my support to help them get there. I just love them. I love them. I love them, but I'm gushing. I'm going to stop now. So anyways, so we were in Houston. When I first started working with her, one of the things that I recognized is she had a very full life. I mean, we're all busy, but she has a demanding job that, that probably requires 40 to 50% travel on her part. She has two children under the age of two. Come on now. But she is still doing what it takes to make sure that, that her heart, what she's being called to do, is being fulfilled. And so when I first started working with her, I recognized she has a lot going on. And so in order to keep her motivated, we had to do something big. And that is what I call a big move. So what is your next big move? What is a big move anyway? So let's talk about that. So there are three elements, three elements of your big move. And these are those three elements. The first thing, the first thing is that your big move is going to keep you focused on forward movement. It is so easy to get caught up in the minutia of making our goals happen and, oh, but I've got to do this and, oh, let me check on that. Oh, I got to do research on that. And, and so we're busy, but we're not really moving forward. And so when you have a goal, your big move is in front of you and it's so huge that you know, I do not have time to be wasting doing this piddly stuff. I've got to make some stuff happen. That will keep you moving forward. So the second element, the second element of your big move is that it is going to give you a milestone that you can celebrate. Because some of us have visions that are so ginormous that it may take years, it may even take decades for us to see the full manifestation of what it is that we're being called to do. And that can get a little demoralizing after a while because it's like, I'm working, but I don't see anything. Nothing is happening. And so by having a big move, you're going to be working towards making something happen that you will be able to reach, that you will be able to celebrate, and that is going to motivate you to keep moving. That's important. And what is the third element? The third element of your big move, and this is perhaps the most important is that in order for it to be a big move, it must force you to seek help or support outside of yourself. If you can do it in your own power, then it's not big enough. And that's the problem. So many of us have these huge visions that we're, we've been called to. We have these, these enormous goals but, and they're going to make a huge impact on people, but we're trying to do it all by ourselves. And we're not getting anywhere. And until we can get outside of ourselves and stop being proud, stop trying to act like we have it all figured out, or just stop feeling like, oh, well, what I'm doing isn't important. I can't ask people to help me. Or what if they say no? You've got to get over that fear of rejection. You've got to get over that fear that maybe people will think that what you're doing is stupid or they won't think that you're capable of doing it. Get over all of that. Get over it. And here's the bottom line. If you're asking people to support you and they don't, then they're not the right people and you keep moving forward. But there are things that you just cannot do by yourself. And so we've got to stop trying. So when you create, establish a big move that is going to force you to do that, then you're going to get in the habit of asking for help. You'll get in the habit of asking for the money that you need. You'll get in the habit of asking for support, asking for resources, asking for volunteers, whatever it is that you need. But you can't do it.
it by yourself. I know I'm saying this over and over. I know I'm like beating this like a dead horse, but I need you to get this. I need you to get this. What it is that God is calling you to do, he did not intend for you to do this by yourself. He's given you the vision, but he's lining other people in your path to help you bring that vision into reality. But if you never open up your mouth to ask for the help that you need, you're not going to get there. One of the things that you may need to get you there is support in the form of coaching or training. Because you just don't know what to do. You do it, but you don't know. And I can help you figure that out, just like I've helped so many others. And right now I'm helping lots of people figure out what that next move is, that next big move, and what are the resources they need, and keeping them motivated so that eventually that whole vision is going to be a reality. So if that's what you need, don't be proud. Don't second guess things. Just call me, email me, figure out if I'm the person that can help you move forward. And if you haven't noticed, I, I just implemented what we call a test drive session. So that is going to give you an opportunity to see exactly what coaching with me will be like. And even from that one session, you're going to get results. So stop trying to do this by yourself. Figure out what your next big move is and move. Move. Stop talking about it. Stop thinking about it. Move. That's the word for this week. Move. <laughs> move. That sounds like move, move, move. It's time to move. Stop talking. Stop, do, stop thinking. Just do it. So, until next time, move and have a wonderful week on purpose.